Webflow has just released five new significant updates wow. or announcement. And in this video, we're gonna go ahead and dive into each one of these in great detail. Let's start it off with forms. So right now in Webflow, I have two different forms in my project. Previously, any forms will go to the exact same email address, but now we can add unique email addresses. So we can go ahead and hit that specific form, head over to settings, and where we see send to right here, we can go ahead and hit email notifications. And then where it says to, we can go ahead and add a unique email address for that specific form. Again, previously you could not do this. This is fantastic stuff. So let's go ahead and type an example of dericsu.com.au at gmail.com. We can go ahead and hit create. Then we can go ahead and hit apply. This will only send the form submission to that specific email uniquely. Another thing to note is in the actual settings of the forms, it now has this new UI, much more cleaner. If we hit view submissions, let's just say this one right here, you can see there's now a toggle between submissions and spam, which is fantastic. Let's move on to update number two. Faster feedback, common only links, plus common meta data. So if we head back into Webflow, we should all know that there's this common functionality right here. But now whenever a user comments, we can actually open it, obviously, and we can reply and, you know, reply with emojis, etc. But now if you hover your mouse over that specific breakpoint, it now tells you that person who commented on this Webflow site, what kind of browser they're using, what kind of operator system they're using, what kind of car you drive now? What kind of viewport site were they commenting in? And what kind of breakpoints were they commenting in? This is actually really, really important for developers because I don't know about you guys, but me personally, sometimes websites don't look the same in Safari and Google Chrome. The basic example would be the native forms. In Safari, they have this really like bold 3D drop shadow look, where in Google Chrome, it's more clean. Or in iOS devices, the browser for Safari has the URL in the bottom, whereas on Chrome, it's at the top. So it kind of like ruins the 100VH viewport height. I'm speaking developer language, but this is fantastic. Another change that they did is if we hit share right here, we can go ahead and share our specific Webflow project and we can go ahead and drop this link down to say, I only want to share it with Workspace members or I want to share it with anyone. And now anyone can comment on your Webflow project without needing a Webflow account. So we go ahead and hit copy link and go ahead and open a new tab and paste that in. This will load up Webflow. And although the person commenting doesn't need a Webflow account, they still need to enter in their details. So let's just say, for example, someone comments on this video saying this video sucks, go kill yourself. We can go ahead and hit post. But you'll notice in order to post it, while they don't need a Webflow account, that's what Webflow claims, they still need to enter their name and email address, most likely because of you know marketing and capitalism, etc. Let's move on to change number Faster site loading in your dashboard. So Webflow has released or claimed to release two to three times faster load speed for your dashboard. If you take a look at my dashboard, it loaded pretty fast. And I have a lot of projects, guys. I have like over 400, I would say. Maybe that's a lie. And I also manage a bunch of other workspaces right here, which will be blurred. But this is fantastic if what they say is true. Uh, faster load time is great. And they specifically mentioned this change because of what happened on July, where there was a crash in Webflow. If you guys remember that, like Webflow was literally down for one day. And the CEO, Linda Tong at the time, uh, said, hey, we're so sorry. Like the CEO had to issue an apology. So that's when you know, you know, the investors are probably not happy. So they, they made these steps to improve it. So great work, Webflow. Let's move on to the next change. Template creator program updates. So Webflow obviously sells templates in their marketplace. They have a native marketplace. And in the past, based on my research, you'll get around 60 to 80% commission. From my understanding, they slowly increased it, but now they increased it to the max. Whenever you sell a template on Webflow, you now earn 95% commission. No freaking way, dude. Which is extremely generous and Webflow only keeps 5%, which they claim to cover the cost of payment processing systems, as well as, you know, the website hosting, which I think is very, very fair. So it's time to sell out, guys. We need to start making Webflow templates and start selling it. Another great thing about this specific update is they actually have something called fulfillment link. So you can actually generate a link 
and you can sell the template outside of Webflow. But that is very, very smart. This is a great change, especially if you're selling templates. And if you've been selling templates in the past, you guys must be cheering. Let's move on to the final update slash announcement. Real-time collaboration. So Webflow has been slowly releasing this functionality where multiple people can make edits within the Webflow site at the same time. Kind of reminds me of Figma where, you know, 10 people could be designing at the same time. Previously, at the very start of Webflow, this was never possible because how can two people customize the source code at the same time? There's only one single source of truth. But they have managed to make this real-time collaboration and obviously this doesn't really apply to solo freelancers but more of the enterprise customers or a lot of people who manage the website so this is fantastic the ui is always great and i'm excited to see this being rolled out in the next coming weeks so guys i hope you enjoyed this video updates of webflow my name is derek su i'm a sydney-based web designer and webflow developer i have a youtube channel where i release free Webflow content. I also have a Webflow course as well as a freelancer course. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Go flip. Hey, get out of there.